Hello everyone and welcome to the first of my weekly mini lectures. This week's lecture is on Bildungsroman. And here is a graphic about Bildungsroman. I'm going to explain the graphic and then I'll show you a brief example from my own life. Okay, Bildungsroman is the hero's journey. At the beginning of the hero's journey, you're in the known world. That's your world. That's your comfort zone. And for some reason, you get a call to adventure. What is your call? And you may have some supernatural aid to help you with this call. And as you answer this call, you come to a point where you meet some threshold guardians. The threshold is between the known world or your comfort zone and the unknown world, the learning zone, all right? The threshold guardians may be something that holds you back from beginning your transformation. What holds you back? Once you get beyond that point and you're into this unknown world, you begin your transformation, you may run into challenges and temptations. But at the same time, you also have helpers to help you deal with the challenges and temptations. At some point, you have a revelation. And once you have the revelation, you actually begin your transformation and you begin your incorporation of this unknown. At some point, you may also have a reckoning or an atonement. Maybe things aren't going quite the way you had imagined they would, and you may have to adjust your expectations. And then once you kind of work through all that, you come back to your known world and everything that you learn becomes part of your known world now, which means you're now ready to share what you know with others. Okay. Now I'm going to go through this and give you an example. So um, I was hanging out in my known world of teaching face-to-face uh, -face classes, and I received a call to adventure, which was to make meaningful, empowering online course. And my spiritual supernatural aid to do that is the internet. <laughs> Yes. What were my threshold guardians, though? So holding me back was learning how to use Canvas, still kind of holding me back, and then the distance learning committee who are helpful and yet stress me out at the same time. Um, but I began this transformation and I started to figure out uh, what some of my challenges were. So... Um, I'm not allowed to use certain material that I would like to use. Writing my own material is hard. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's also hard to find stuff on the internet. <laughs> and so I find myself, oh dear, tempted to the temptation is just use a textbook. <laughs> um, but I have helpers. Uh, for one thing, I have my own stubbornness and perseverance. Um, my coworkers help me out. Um, I have a group of women friends that I get together with. We talk about our challenges and our growth. They are my helpers. You, my students, are big helpers. And, you know, even my pets. They help me relax and chill. They help me see life from a different perspective. So um, all of this led me to a revelation, which doesn't fit. <laughs> it has to go down there, guys. Okay, so the revelation is that even if I use a textbook, I have to add my own material online anyway, and because finding materials online is so time-consuming, I might as well use my own most of the time. And I also learned to keep things simple. Um, so I began my transformation, which meant that I had to 
scrap the previous version and start all over again. My reckoning uh, came actually partly in the form of not passing my training because I didn't really get, they didn't like it. Uh, my course won't be perfect at first. So I have to stay here, you know, just because you get to the revelation, right? Doesn't mean that you don't still have work to do. There's still work to do to get up to the point where you come back and what you've learned becomes part of your known world, right? So, you know, the hope is that I will get much better at operating Canvas. Um, and, you know, I might adjust my behavior based on what I've learned. And I'm also ready now to share with others. I can share my knowledge. Oh, there I am with my little backpack that I brought back with me, sharing, ready to share my knowledge. Okay, so that's it, folks. I hope that was helpful. Take care.